I was an angry man. I wasn't willing to admit how angry I was. Anger, as we've learned today, and the double first cousin to bitterness. I was struggling with all of that and going on preaching every Sunday, acting like everything was all right. Finally, don't know me. I couldn't let this team come to our church for a revival without uh, telling them the truth. So I called them. I was talking to Don Averill, who was with the team then, told him what was happening. Don prayed for me over the telephone. Got together with Brother Byron, the leadership of the team. They decided they wanted to come on in view of the fact that I told them that there was no immorality or infidelity going on between the two of us, either of us, neither of us guilty of that. I'll never forget Don telling me on the telephone, long distance from Michigan, said, Don, if you can hold on till we get there, you'll have some people around you who can help you. I began to cling to that uh, word. It was a word of hope. I had lost all hope that things could ever be different or any better. They invited me in the meantime to come and join them. One of their teams conducting a crusade like they do in our church. And um, my wife initially did not want to go. I knew she didn't. By this time, she didn't want to go anywhere with me. When I confronted her with the opportunity for us to go out to Texas for a life action crusade before they came to our church in February, she was very, very resistant to the idea. The idea of going anywhere with me by this time was repugnant to her. But finally, she agreed. We went out to Texas. We checked into two separate motel rooms a part of her criteria for being willing to go at all. In the Holiday Inn Express, I'm staying in the Holiday Inn Express this week. I love the place. I didn't love that first week. We were two separate rooms. And um, we attended the worship service at the Birchman Baptist Church there where the red team was conducting the crusade. Wayne Davis was our counselor. Met with him every day. He um, loved me enough to tell me the truth. He held my feet to the fire. Challenged me if I'd begin to write a list out of the ways I'd wounded my wife over the years. I felt like I needed to do that, and I agreed to do that. And I began to work on that list, and it got longer and longer and longer until it was about three pages, single space, uh, legal size paper long, and it wasn't complete then. 